Hello and welcome to another video of machine learning do it yourself tutorials. In this video we're going to talk about R visualizations and the first one is box plot. So the box plot visualization displays the center and spread of a numeric variable. It's going to show you mean and uh, you know other data how the data is laid out to get you an understanding on the spread of the data. This is the syntax of box plot. Box plot and load my CSV is the data frame which I'm going to create now. And please refer the previous videos. We created load my CSV from a CSV file which is uploaded on a Google Drive. This another syntax, another variation of box plot syntax. Uh, which is going to put my chart as the name on the main. So rather than doing on this PowerPoint, let's go and uh, do these commands and see how it looks like in the in the R Studio. And remember, we installed R Studio in the previous video. If you have not done that, this is the time to do that. Let's load the CSV. There you go. It has loaded all the data from that CSV, prod.inv.csv. Let's use box plot function. The box plot load my CSV dollar inventory shows this. And if you zoom it, inventory is divided like this. This is the lowest, this is the highest value, and this is the median, while majority of the data is in this area. Let's see another variation of box plot. This is going to add a text my chart onto the chart, make it more elaborative. This is going to add a Y label, which is going to say inventory X10 LBS. Please note here, this is going to box plot price with my chart and label the y-axis. You can see the price ranges from here to here, this line to this the top limit line and this is the median and this is the majority of data lies in. This is going to do the same thing but also add x-axis. There you go, it added my x-axis, and so on and so forth. Let's look at histogram. Histogram is a function which displays the occurrence frequency of a numeric value. It divides the whole data set into bins. For example, age, age group 0 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, and so on and so forth. So this is the command function for hist, histogram. And again, these are the functions which we are going to try. We're not going to do all of them, maybe a few functions. And remaining, do it yourself. There you go. So I'm going to try 
this histogram and you can see it's divided into bins. Let's zoom into it and you can see there is no data for ranges 10 to 30 but 0 to 10 and 30 to 40 and 40 to 50 have uh, records. This gives you a good understanding on how your data is spread, how is your data distributed, even you start doing any machine learning deep dive algorithms. And moving on to the last function, which is scatter plot, this tells you how a particular a particular <clears throat> value, numeric value, is into a dimensional, two-dimensional graph is distributed. Uh, it shows a bivariate relationship. So this is going to show the relationship of age and sales amount. And X label is age and Y label is income. Let's do that. Please note that this R script is available in, on the Google Share Drive link mentioned in the description below. So the scatter plot let's run it and scatter plot as i mentioned it shows the distribution of age versus income and this is an intersection of this income group with this age so this shows you a distribution of the data in two dimensional graph as i mentioned please try the hands on exercises which are coming up Read the customer age income.csv file in a data frame, uh, mydf. Underscore CAI. Calculate standard deviation on age. Please refer the previous set of videos to understand and calculate standard deviation. Save mydf underscore cus data frame as mydf underscore cust.csv so basically you have to use write.csv command create graphs for box plot histogram and scatter plot for mydf underscore cai including age income and sales amount thank you for watching